The Zavo lions uh, were two man-eating lions that killed a series of individuals back in 1898. They were collected by Colonel Patterson uh, after he went to uh, Kenya and the Zavo region to help build the railroad. And so at this time, there was an influx of lots of individuals helping to build the railroad. At the same time, prey was declining on the landscape. And so these lions then went out and uh, essentially ate and consumed numerous humans during this time. So most of the things that I study went extinct thousands if not millions of years ago. And so we have to use different tools to get at what their diet was uh, and their ecology overall. And so the tools that I use uh, are perfect for actually trying to understand the uh, motivations behind these sort of man-eating lions. While at the Field Museum, we took molds of the teeth, what's noted in blue here, with a dental impression material. And once we got back to Vanderbilt, we put a putty around it so that we could actually cast it. We made an exact replica, which is this clear cast right here. Uh, and this captures all of the microscopic detail of the tooth. We can then place this tooth underneath the microscope and actually scan that microware surface in three dimensions and recreate um, the surface textures of the tooth itself. Well, the reigning idea uh, before we did this study was that they were sort of desperately eating hard things, carcasses, um, and sort of selected humans as their last resort. Um, we've actually sort of changed that idea a bit. Uh, it seems that humans might have been a solution to their problem. And what their problem was is both the uh, one of the man-eaters, the Zavo man-eaters, and the other Mafui man-eater had severe damage to their jaws and or teeth. So one had an extremely large cavity which abscessed and they actually lost some of their lower incisors. The other had a, uh, a large trauma to its lower jaw. And in both of these scenarios, uh, they may have had a very hard time capturing larger prey. So as you can imagine, hunting a wildebeest can incur quite a bit of damage, especially if you're having to subdue that prey and hold it down with your jaw and teeth. And so if these uh, lions were sort of hampered in any way because of these this sort of dental damage, then they would have had a very hard time hunting. So humans, in a sense, might have been an easy solution to their need for food.